Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Collection. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been busy. What else can I say? Today, this is something different. This is uh, sort of a comparison video, if you will. A gentleman by the name of Nikos Drezios, who some of you Myers Mask collectors out there might know as the guy that runs Nag Studios. I believe he's from Greece, I think. I think he's from Greece. Um, anyway, he reached out to me, uh, and we were talking about my Kirk, my 75 Kirk mask. You guys have seen this bad boy right here. Yes, I know I still got to get it off the styrofoam. I'm getting to it. I mean, believe me, it ain't going to get any harder. Um, but anyway, he said that he wanted to make an exact replica of this guy. I didn't know why. You know, he's made some pretty badass Kirks and Myers masks over the years, but I guess he wanted a challenge and he wanted to sculpt a mask that looked exactly like mine. So not just a Kirk mask, but he wanted to sculpt it in the shape that mine is in. You know, how it's kind of sunken in a little bit here and we straighten that bad boy out. Straighten him out a little bit. Yeah, see, it it does move. See, if you guys think it's frozen to it, it's not. Um, but uh, he wanted to do this. So I took some pictures, and he said, if he made one, he wanted to send it to me, and he wanted me to make a comparison video to show what he created next to mine. So I guess this would be, I know, People used to refer to my first mask, the small Clark 75 is what they call it. So I guess this would be the Clark 75 real mask. I don't know. I don't know what, what, what we call this, but this is Sean Clark's 75 Kirk original. So let's see what he did. So here we go. This is what he did. And I gotta be honest with you, it kind of blew my mind. I mean, he got the shape perfectly, no pun intended. Um, but as you can see, it's, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Uh, the hair color is real close, real close. This one's maybe got a little more bl dirty blonde in it. Uh, mine is looking a little more grayish, but that could just be years of dust. Who knows? Um, definitely went a little too pink on the color, on the flesh tone, just a little bit, but the shape is pretty much dead on and it's a slightly bigger, like overall size. I'll, I'll put them next to each other here in a minute and you can look at them side by side. But I mean, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, check this out. I mean, how crazy is that? He pretty much nailed it. I mean, it's, uh, I, I mean, you know, I guess the other thing that kind of left me a little speechless was how fast he did it. Dude is fast. I mean, he sent me a finished mask just a couple months after I sent him the photos, so... He knocked it out quick. The guy is definitely talented. So you can see side by side there. This one's slightly taller. Um, but damn close. Damn close. Pretty crazy, right? probably want to see the back. Show us the back, Sean. There we go. I mean, I'm definitely impressed. Let me get some better, I'll do some better going around these things when uh, I'm not holding them. 
That's pretty crazy. I'm trying to get this a little more. And look at that. I mean, he he pretty much nailed it. I mean, it's it's pretty remarkable. But as you can see, his slightly pinker Hair's a little more bouffant. Probably push it down a little bit, make it look a little more. But, I mean, I'm impressed. If you don't know who he is, this is his information. I don't know if he's going to be selling copies of these, but he should. Because they're pretty badass. I mean, here's like... You see the the original, the eyes. Now his texture is smoother, but you know I would say that's more of a result of this being a brand new mold, and this you know God only knows how many pulls came out of this mold before this particular mask came out, but. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at, let's go this way with it. Let me see if I can, I was trying to get them the exact same height, but uh, you know, kind of see pretty damn close need to get that cowlick going this way there we go <laughs> there As you can see, it seems like there's a little more darker colors in this hair. I'm trying to get the focus, there we go. Uh, compared to that, really close though. This has more of a yellow, a, a yellowish tint to it than this one. Almost like a, looks like there's some slight gray mixed into it or something. Or it could just have faded over the years, who knows. All right, let's check. Let's look at the backs. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'd say that the original has more of a natural flesh color versus the pinkish of this one. Yeah, doing my best to keep them both on here. There can't be can't be knocking off the OG mask. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put them on the floor. Hold on. Now keep in mind, you know, this is obviously, you know, still, you know, flexible and everything. This one, not so much. But, as you can see, pretty damn close. Quite impressive. Very good work, my friend. Very good work. You have an eye.
for sculpting.